Welcome to Let's Play Forza Motorsport 3, Part 2. And so I lowered the game volume a little bit in OES, so hopefully it'll be better. So here's the main menu of the game, the main mode, Forza 3. There's also free play mode and the marketplace, but this account doesn't have Xbox Live, so shut up. So, first thing we're going to do is go to my profile, check out some stuff. Message Center, that's an Xbox Live feature. Opponents list is just like Forza 2. Once you race against AI, they show up on the opponent screen. Save photos, save replays, save movies. Oh, you can make movies from save replays, which is cool. Then you can change your controller options, which I'm just going to stick with the default because this is what I was uh, brought up on, if you will. So, yeah, there's that. And we have HUD options. So we have a bunch of camera options. I'll cycle through those. I should have cycled through those in the prologue race, but whatever. So main, the main cameras we're going to be using are Chase Near in the uh, cockpit interior. Damage tire wear on. Map can have it rotating fixed or off. Can have it rotating. Edit a bit, a bit. All this shit. Wrong way warning. Sure, I'll keep that on. Names over cars. Don't care. Don't want that. That's kind of intrusive. And once again, we have an analog or digital speedometer, just like Forza 2. I'll show that off eventually. Turn the mirror, rear view mirror off and on. Distance ahead. I'm going to turn that on. Units default. So Imperial. Sure, I'll have ghosts on. I'll put car setups on. Sure, we rewind message off. That's another thing I forgot to show off in the goddamn prologue race. Son of a bitch. I feel like starting this over. Oh well. I'm gonna turn the message off, but yeah, rewind. That's that's also a thing. So let me just go over here in audio and turn off all the in race music. So I'm gonna get dick by copyright. And just to be on the safe side, so I'm gonna turn off the menu music as well, just to be safe. Then we get the credits and multi-screen, which this game has multi-screen support, which is cool. So, got my thing. Leaderboards, that's Xbox Live. Swordfront, that's also an Xbox Live thing. Paint Shop. This game just has a little delivery editor similar to Forza 1 and 2. You probably you put even more layers on it, but I'm going to paint my car here. Because fucking... The memes have to happen. They are demanded, so I'm going to paint my vids pink, or Yars pink. You can also paint individual parts if I want to. I'm not going to, so yeah. There we go. Hey, I got an achievement for making my car pink. Hooray. As always, there's an upgrade shop, which is uh, has a new feature in this game, the quick upgrade. quick upgrade. To optimize your car for a specific class. Thank you. So yeah, we can now uh, have the game choose upgrade parts for me, depending on what class I want to put the car in, which is cool. Or we can just buy upgrades individually ourselves. Cars, we can go to our garage, buy cars, and then there's an Xbox Live auction house, which is cool. So, you notice my Yaris is in F class. They uh, kind of reworked the classes a bit in this game. The bottom class is now F, so it goes F E D B. B A S and fucking I don't even forget our classes probably. Don't tell me. So uh yeah, there's there's the menus. Let's go race. In order to begin your career, choose season play. Okay, we'll do that. So there's season play in a event list and then multiplayer but for the MNO. So I'm just gonna go to the season play real quick here. In season play you choose from among several events. These events fill up your calendar as you race through the season. So yeah, this is a cool little thing. It's like a career mode-ish thing, which is cute. Each event consists of multiple races. If you're not sure which event to choose, review the tips displayed under each event poster. So yeah, basically throughout season play we have... The game gives us an option of three events to choose. In the game, we have the three-door challenge, Asian manufacturer open, and the front-wheel drive open. We're going to do the Asian manufacturer open. You see all that shit? Here's the restrictions, limited Asian cars, of course. And, uh, you know, on the bottom right, it shows uh, what recommended class, basically, to use. Because this is the class that uh, AI was going to be using, at least the highest class. So, highest F200 
F Class 200 PI. This is your season calendar. Your first race is highlighted. When new events are added, this is where you can find them. Time for the first race of your new season. Choose Start Race. So yeah, there's a calendar. It's cool. It, it doesn't show a lot, but it shows uh, days. It's our first year's... Oh, shut up, man. So yeah, here we go. Our first race of three, we're going to go to the Iberian International Circuit, a new track. We can have a choice to change our car. We can do a quick upgrade here, view the calendar, and set our difficulty. And we can view some restrictions again, and also view series standings. Also look at uh, all the drivers and see what they're driving. So we have Sasaki and Hyundai Tuscany, Takahashi and a, another Yaris. Note my Toyota Yaris is a uh, Yaris Plus, I guess because it's a starter car and has slightly up, slight upgrades to it. So yeah. So there's a car, people list, points. Gonna actually have points in uh, not just the like 10 championships across the entire season play, which is cool. So let's just load our first race here at Iberian International Circuit. We're going to the mini reverse, the mini circuit reverse. So yeah, three laps, lap length is 0.68 miles, also has some tips on the bottom of the screen, and for the most part I want to cut out these load times just because they're long. I thought about not cutting them out because uh, just less effort on editing, but eh. But I don't know, we'll see. I don't know how horrible this is, but yeah, I don't know. Anyways, hey, the circuit's loaded. I know, because I heard the fans. So, Iberian Circuit, it's one of many new tracks. This is actually one of a three-pack of new tracks. that are fantasy tracks located in Spain. There's basically three circuits right next to each other. And it's pretty cool. So, here's our pre-race menu. We can choose, show the, look at the starting grid, which this game, I think, has done away with the virtual qualifying. So you're starting to last all the time. And stuff. So that's cool. You can load setup, tune the car setup. Make sure our assists are correct. Change audio and change the HUD. I'm just going to have my regular HUD on for this race. And then for other races in this segment, I'm going to change stuff like the speedometer just to show it off. And yeah. So, let's go. My god, there's a Doritos emote. Holy shit. It's beautiful. Alright, here we go. Fucking pink vits rolling up. Also, as you rev the car, it kind of fucking shakes there in the uh, countdown screen. So, off we go. Now, one thing I'm just going to point out here is um, I chose, I set the AI to hard. These races, these early races are pretty fucking hard. Not going to lie. So, uh... I just cut the track. I'm a fucking piece of shit. But, at the same time, I kinda can't waste time because these races are very, very short. And they're quite difficult. Like, they, these races are legitimately difficult. So, for the sake of my own sanity, I would like to, uh... Fucking, yeah. Wreck all these, well not wreck all these motherfuckers, but get around all these motherfuckers as quickly as possible. Especially Sasaki here, because he's driving a fucking tip, uh, Hyundai. It's kind of a, a little bit over par, overpowered for this F-Class Asian race. God, this car is such a meme, I love it. The good old pink vits. Luckily, there's oh, there's that one section on this track where the AI is just a fuck ton slower than me. Always got to have one of those. Can't have a fucking racing game without at least one track having one of those sections where the AI is just so much slower than you. Also, another thing to point out is they revamped the penalty system in this game. You know how in Forza One and Two they uh, 
just added time to your lap time if you go off, went off track or hit something. In this game, it's a little different. Instead of adding time to your lap time, it just completely invalidates the lap time for like leaderboard purposes. So if you go off track or hit somebody or even slipstream somebody, or go as far as invalidating your lap on the last sector, invalidating your previous lap on the last sector, your, your, your lap's not going to count for leaderboards. So yeah. Also, hey, I won. Sweet. There's that. My car's a little bit uh, dirty and fucked up. So we have replay options, leaderboards, which I can't do, and race results. Hey, Lamau, would you look at that? I won. Cool. You can also toggle uh, how many points we get and how many total points, which is cool. So, there we go. Race one down. Just like that. And here's our uh, winnings. Unfortunately, we do not get a detailed thing on the damage... Uh, the insurance claim, if you will. But hey, it's whatever. Also, uh, max difficulty brings us back up to 100% uh, increase in profit. When it went down to 50 and Forza 2, so that's cool. Gets more money. Here's our XP screen. Same kind of XP system as in Forza 2. We get one for driver and one for car level. And stuff. So... There's our first uh, real race complete, not counting the prologue. Do I have all the DLC for this game? Um, probably not all of it. Excellent work! You've finished your first race. Now on to the next. Sorry, I didn't want to interrupt that guy. But uh, I I have most of the DLC on my like. Uh main account, but yeah, I don't fucking know. Shut up, man. So, anyways, next race at the Asian Open, we're gonna do Camino Veo, or Veo de Monstrat, which is the second of the three Spanish tracks that are right next to each other. And, uh, yeah, let's check out the steering standings. Hey, I have the point lead, all that shit. Alright, let's go. To our next race. There's gonna be two laps around the short circuit. And stuff. Oh my god. Chat's exploding here, so are my viewer count. It's always weird how that works out. Like, I have my most viewers whenever I'm starting an LP and whenever I'm finishing an LP. Like, starting I understand, but finishing an LP, it's like, everybody knows. And it's weird. Oh yeah, we get some little history facts, fun facts in the uh, loading screen as well. It's cute. It's cool shit, man. So I already know about the color code for the drivers. I mean, I've played Forza 2. We all know how that was. So, here we go. I'm gonna, oh yeah, I was going to change the HUD a little bit. So, let's see. Let's do show off the digital speedometer here. And let's start the race. And stuff. So, let's see how this goes. For my testing, this might be a little bit uh, more difficult. Also, here's the digital speedometer. Oh, shit. And I'm also going to switch to interior view for this race. Love how the gauges are in the fucking center of the dash. It's like, okay. Excuse me, sir. So, yeah. Like, like I said, in these earlier races, I'm going to have to be super aggressive. Like, more aggressive than I would like to be. Because I have no time to pass these guys. Cockpit view, interior view, shut the fuck up, whatever. It's the same thing. So we go, here's the AI is slower than me around this turn part of the track. And I, uh... That didn't go as planned, alright. Suck me fuck, Takahashi. Like I said, suck me fuck. This game is fucking beautiful for two thousand like in general, not just for a two thousand nine game. It just it's just fucking beautiful. Yeah, can I catch and get around Sasaki here? Oh, oh, okay. Well I just damaged the fuck out of my engine. And 
it's now smoking a little bit. Hooray. Like I said, aggressive. A little too aggressive, maybe. Actually, there's no maybe to it. Definitely too aggressive. I don't give a shit. Once we get into the longer races, I can be uh, a little more calm and collective. Where is Rossi? In due time, my friend. In due time. Last turn. Let's use our mirrors. Keep Sasaki behind me. And there we go. Hey, I got an, I got an achievement for racing in the interior view. Cool. Forza 3 is your first 360 game. Forza 2. Actually, no. Forza 2 was not my first 360 game. That was PGR 3. I got the fast slap. Suck me, Sasaki. Oops, I forgot to uh, show off points distribution. Oh, right, it's actually different. Everybody has points now. Woo. All right, let's continue. Ooh, 786 credits repairs. Nice. I suck. And hey, we leveled up our car. Car's at level one now. So that means just like Forza 2, we get a discount on a certain upgrade for certain uh, manufacturers of cars. Bibbidi bobbidi boo. Ugh. I hate explaining shit. Oh well. I gotta be proper, man. Can't just like go. So this is the game. I'm gonna do things now. Can't do that. You've earned some credits. Choose quick upgrade to automatically optimize your car. So yeah, guy wants me to uh upgrade my car and I think I might have to for this race because this one is probably the hardest of this three um, I'm gonna go ahead and go to quick upgrade Upgrades affect your car's performance press the X button to see the list of parts you will be installing and as you see the game has a uh, list of things to put on my car upgrading the rear tire with okay well then street valves air filter upgrade to put me up to F-196, give me a little horsepower. Fuck it, I'll do it. I'm gonna do it, and then we're gonna do last race at the Ladera test track, the final in the three, uh, the, the Spanish three-pack and stuff. So the Ladera mini circuit, three laps, 0.56 miles. When it says mini, it's fucking mini. It's a small-ass track. Hell, the full circuits aren't even that long. So, oh boy. God, I'm still in like, it, it's going to take me a bit to get used to this game because I'm still in kind of Forza 2 mode. So, this game's too, uh, this game's too high class for me. It's all smooth and white and shit. Uh, okay. I'm going to change my HUD back, and by HUD I mean speedometer. But I'm going to show off one more thing in this race, so let's go. Okay, maybe I can win this time. That'd be cool. If I can win. Oh boy, this is this is a tough, eh? Tough race to end this uh, series on, let me tell ya. There just aren't many opportunities to uh, take advantage of these fuckers. Go! Alright, let's get to the inside here of Takahashi. Get around him. Alright. Now I have two laps here to focus on Sasaki instead of just one, so let's press up and show off the telemetry for this game, returning from fours 1 and 2. Because telemetry is cool, it's also a lot smoother in Forza 2. I'm so glad they uh, optimized this a little better. By a little better, I mean a lot better. So I will admit the uh, telemetry in Forza 2 was not very well optimized as far as uh, keeping a steady frame rate and shit. But yeah, that's all the information you need about how your car is and stuff. It's pretty damn neat. Okay, final lap. 
Can we get Sasaki? I sure as fuck hope so. Oop, got him. Kinda bullied him, but I got him. Probably like in Forza 2, I'll kinda blip the uh, telemetry every now and then just to look at like tire wear and shit, so. Stuff. But hey, I finally won after like four attempts. Hooray. This was a hard ass race. But I got it. And I won it. So there we go. Toyota Vit Yaris confirmed better than a Hyundai Tuscany. And also a uh, fucking Mitsubishi Eclipse. So there we go. Perfect three wins. I'm going to try to win all these races because. Just why not? Just because. Hey, another achievement. Cool. Also, no uh, repair mo uh, costs here. Yes, yeah, Forza 3 shows tire wear, just like 1 and 2. Alright, we've reached driver level 1. And with that, we won a car, a Fiat Abarth 500 SS. Nice. And stuff, so, loading the menus. Congratulations, you've completed your first event. Completing events will reward you with bonus credits. So yeah, got extra credits for uh, winning the Asian Open overall. And an achievement. And for getting level 1, we got this wonderful Fiat Abarth 500 SS. No no prize card for winning the championship, which kind of sucks, but hey, there's, there's a reason why. This game has a lot of fucking races. By completing your first event, you now have more events to choose from. So yeah, next up is the second week, which we'll choose a race, but first, I want to show some here in the event list. Basically, how I'm going to go about this game is I'm going to try to kind of manipulate the uh, choices in the season play mode to do all of these in order, because I'm very fucking stupid like that, and there's a lot of fucking races, as you see here. This is how many? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. <laughs> Twenty-two rows of ten. Two hundred twenty championships in this game, or series in this game. So yeah. And here's the Asian Open, which is why I chose an Asian car to start and stuff. Scotian, the prize, the Fiat was from reaching level one, not for the winning the uh, series. So yeah, there we go. We got a check mark on the thing, and here's our golds, which is just a gold uh, Forza medal, which is cool. I like how the reverse track is uh, has a blue map. It's cute. So yeah, that's about all there is to it for uh first real segment of uh, Forza 3. Not to take anything away from the prologue, but there we go. So next time on Forza 3, I will be... Uh, doing the European Open in the second weekend of the season play. So with that, stay tuned for that.